Hello, welcome to Cardiff, capital of Wales. How's it going? I'm Hugh Stevens. What I want to do today is take you on a little musical tour of Cardiff city centre, meet some of the bands who play here, some of the DJs who DJ here, some of the shops who supply people with the music, the venues, the rehearsal space, the studios that keep Cardiff's music scene going. About five minutes away from Cardiff Central train station, in the middle of all the construction and all the building and all the changing of the city centre is the oldest record shop in the whole wide world, Spiller's Records. If Cardiff has a beating musical heart, a hub if you like, then it is this place still going strong. Hiya Graf. Hello. Can I get the little my CD? This is three quid. Yeah. shop's got um, many customers, some uh, music fans, some make music themselves, and music fans like yourself, James. You've been coming to Spillers for years, haven't you? Yeah, no, uh, first time I bought a record from you is 1984, I think. I remember we used to, uh, we used to busk a couple of June Brides songs outside of you, and uh, Steve Arbini walked past us, and he dissed us, he just shook his head. No way. <laughs> you sang about the red plastic bags from Spillers as yeah. well, haven't you? Well, for us, you know, for us... First Valley kind of Valley kids, they were quite iconic, really. Um, it's just kind of there was just all the older kids in the valleys, you know, the one or two kind of indie heads that were up there used to say, yeah, yeah. when you go to Spillers, oh, that's that's when you would find out what the real world's about, kind of thing. <laughs> and they used to have these red bags, used to bring their sandwiches into school with them and all that. And uh, kind of like you know, to actually you know get down here and buy records was massive achievement for us. I know it sounds daft, but it was back then, you know. Kind of changed a lot since the Mannix started out busking yeah. and playing here. Um, change for the better, do you think? What, what's Cardiff life like as a city now? My dad was a biker when he was young, so he said, oh, yeah, we used to go down the bay, and it was like a... He talks about it as if, as if it was a fantastical place where they would, like, fight and kind of exotic women, <laughs> and kind of, like, um, yeah, he always goes on about it. The, it's the first time he, he kind of ate a, a, a bloody steak, French-style, when he was in Cardiff. <laughs> no, 